Welcome to SmartPT, my name is Jonathan Reimer. This week I want to talk to you about some things a strong physiotherapist and especially a strong manual physiotherapist needs to know. First of all, I think it's obvious we all need a very strong knowledge of anatomy. We need to be able to figure out what structures in the region are causing the pain and dysfunction. A good strong knowledge of anatomy also helps us figure out what kind of movements we need for exercise and restoring function. The second thing I think we all need to have a good understanding of is some knowledge of biomechanics in the region. We need to understand how the body and joints and musculature work together in that area to cause a particular dysfunction and then it also helps us to figure out how to correct it. The third thing I think we need to know is have a good understanding of a variety of different conditions that can affect that area so that we're adept at differential diagnosis. I think that's the key to real success. I get a lot of young students and therapists come to me and I ask them what might be the diagnosis or differential diagnosis in the area. Many will point out different musculature in the region, but it's much more rare that people will start to come up with other things like capsular ligamentous structures, meniscus type structures, uh, bony neurological structures uh, that could be at fault. And also aware of conditions and anomalies, so not just the normal structures in the region, but what kind of anomalous structures might be causing dysfunction. So I think it's a good idea to play a game as you're training yourself and as you're educating yourself. Try to think of at least 10 different structures that could be at fault in a particular region. So for example, posterior lateral knee pain could be the proximal gastrocnemius, could be the distal hamstring tendon, could be the IT band, could be the posterior lateral meniscus, could be the lateral collateral ligament, could be capsular ligamentous structures in the area, popliteus muscle. So there's a variety of structures that could be at fault. I had a therapist come to me relatively recently and she was assessing somebody's wrist and couldn't figure out what extensor tendon might be at fault. So after just a few tests, I figured out that it was the TFCC, the ulnar disc, that was the, the structure at fault. She was kind of shocked by it, failed to consider that that was even a possibility and didn't know how to test for it. So these are the kind of things that we need to be able to figure out as a manual therapist. So in summary, strong knowledge of anatomy, biomechanics and conditions for differential diagnosis and you'll be able to figure out what's happening and how to fix it. Have a good day.